all right guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy mr posh coming to you with another makeup tutorial showing you the new fenty powder brushes the new fenty powder concealers and all that other good stuff so i picked up a few things and here goes nothing so the first step is to go in with the fenty primer I focus on areas where my pores are extremely enlarged and where my blemishes are so that they are blurred away once I apply my foundation and the rest of the makeup so I look like a filter. Next I go in in the foundation on the back of my hand to warm it up in shade 390 and I apply it first with the precision sponge. I decided to go with 390 because the undertones are golden, just like most of the undertones on my face are golden. I do have some red undertones. I also have hyperpigmentation. I'm black. So 430 was a little bit too dark and 410 is too ashy. So 390, thankfully it oxidizes, so this one works perfectly fine. So I'm just blending and blending, and then I go in with another coat, but with the flat foundation brush, also by Fenty. As you can see, the shade is just a little bit lighter than me, but it oxidizes and dries down, and it blends perfectly and seamlessly. Um, just making sure to roll and press it into my pores, and to make sure they get on my blemishes right before I go in and contour and conceal. Remember to get those crease lines because if you have fine lines, they will crease. Now, before I go in with the concealer, I have several match sticks and shimmer sticks. And I'm going to contour first with truffle. Although I have a beard, uh, there's that beard is the contour. But I don't like, since I put on foundation, I don't want to look one color. I want to look multidimensional. So I'm using truffle. I do need a darker tone to... Um, to contour but this is good enough just to bring a little bit of light i'm gonna go in with the fenty travel size blending brush it's also magnetic and it attaches to the shimmer sticks and the match sticks which is great so i'm just buffing all that away blending it making sure all the lines are gone you can't really see the contour line because it's a little bit too light but something's better than nothing blend 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 now i'm gonna go in with the while i leave that contour on my nose i'm gonna go in with the concealer in shade 390. um the concealer and the foundation are both the same number but obviously the concealer is a little bit lighter so that it can give you a natural highlight but it complements the actual foundation shade um i didn't get my eyebrows threaded so i said fuck it let me just put it under there but i'm just going to blend and blend and blend with the sponge until all the lines are gone, until it looks like skin. Hit that pose, take that flick, check your angle, post that shit. Hit that pose, take that flick, check your angle, post that shit. Hit that pose, take that flick, check your angle, post that shit. Hit that pose, take that flick, check your angle, post that shit. My bitch will get on the ground just to make sure the light is found. The way she make them angles hit, she like Bill Cunningham with that shit. I mean that Here I begin to add one more coat just to get my socket and those fine lines. And because it's so lightweight, it feels like you have absolutely nothing on. And it blends so seamlessly and I've never had makeup do this before. So I decided to add another coat. And plus it looks flawless. And I want to see if I can get those lines on my forehead as well. So here I'm going in with the matchstick concealer in caramel to give me more of a highlight. Also, the formula is cream to powder, which would help with the concealer lasting a little bit longer because as it's giving makeup application and coverage, it's also going to set because my skin is oily and it's going to help the makeup last a little bit longer. Um, as well as using setting powder. Plus, it gives me more of a dramatic highlight, more dimension to my face, more color to my face, more light to my face. So here I'm going in with the setting powder in honey and in nutmeg. And this is nutmeg, I believe. Nope, it's honey. So I'm using setting powder and honey to set under my under eyes. So I use the cream to powder formula as well as the new Pro Filter Concealer. And now I'm using honey just to dust and pat and set that makeup. And this 
literally blends into your face and melts away. I absolutely love it. I was a little bit shocked because I thought it would be too bright, but uh, it melts really, really great. And it really matches the 390 concealer and foundation really, really well. So here's the match shimmer stick in rum. I love using this to highlight on a regular basis. It's great for a natural everyday look. Of course, I'm dramatic. I'm a Libra, so I exaggerate. And so I bring that highlight all the way down to my cheek because it's why not? Because that all gets oily and I have a round face and that's just the way the light reflects. And then I put some on my Cupid's bow on my chin and on my big ass nose as well. And then I just go in and blend, blend, blend. And I'm using the same sponge because it has the same color makeup that I've been using the entire time. And I'm going for a natural look, although I'm dramatic and I apply a lot. I also like to blend a lot to make sure I don't look crazy while riding this train while it all oxidizes. Because not for nothing, this looks really crazy until it oxidizes and my natural oils begin to break down some of the makeup. And then it just looks like skin with an amazing highlight. Now that I'm done with phase one of beating my face, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Glow. I got the travel size with the travel size Hustler Baby just to try it out. And of course, I fell in love with the Fenty Glow. I thought I loved Diamond Milk, but this one is so natural and it gives you a nice glow with a nice tint of color. So now I'm going to go in with Hustler Baby, even though I put rum. Um, and it gives you a nice, beautiful, metallic -y, highlight i love it so much oh it just goes so well with my skin i use it almost every single day with rum because the rum really blends into my medium deep skin tone and then this just brings out the beautiful cinnamony colors in rum and i don't know it's just great i don't know what i'm talking about but I fucking love Hustler Baby. Like, it's my shit. Hustler Baby mixed in with Ginger Binge or any of the other ones. I feel like rum and Hustler Baby are the perfect base of a highlight for people with my complexion or darker. And then Trophy Wife because we're being dramatic and extra. And because who doesn't want more highlight? We're just having some fun here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, share. Let me know if you see it. Well, not really, because I'm super shy. Anyway, peace, love, and soul. Enjoy the rest of this madness.